It's week 106 of Zerus. I'm going to show you guys his location, the items he's selling, as well as give you guys my recommendations for this week. And we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So it is week 106 of Xur. But before we get into the video, if you guys enjoyed the video and would like to see more Destiny 2 content as soon as it's released, then go ahead and sub to the channel, turn on notifications, follow me on Twitter, and also go ahead and join the Guardian Watcher Discord. It's a growing LFG community where content creators and streamers can also post all of their Destiny 2 videos and post when they go live. A link to the Discord will be down in the description box below. So. Zer is located on the EDZ by the Winding Cove in this area right here. So let's go find out what he has this week. Zer, what's up, dude? So, like always, we're going to go ahead and start with the left hand side. We have the weapon of the week, which is the Colony. It is an exotic grenade launcher. Then we have the Orpheus rig for the hunter, the Karnstein armlet for the warlock, as well as the Ashen Wake for the Titan. Let's go ahead and start with the weapon of the week. In terms of perk on this is insectoid robot grenades, which fires insectoid robot grenades that chase targets and explode in close proximity. Then we have linear compensator, high velocity rounds, Serve the colony, which insectoid robot grenades quickly repopulate the magazine from reserves while the colony is unequipped. And then we have composite stock. And this also has three different uh, ornaments. And I'm going to go ahead and show you. Now, you do not get these ornaments. Whoops. You do not get these ornaments by getting this weapon. Just showing you that they have different ones. And this one, actually, my favorite. So, real quick, I'm going to go ahead and give this a tier 2 in PvP, but probably a tier 2.5 to tier 3 in PvE. If you guys don't know the tier scale, I will put it down in the description box below. That way, you guys can go ahead and check that out. Next, we have the Orpheus Rig for the Hunter. The treasure perk on this is Uncanny Arrows, which grants Deadfall and Mobius Quiver energy. Next, we have Pulse Rifle Dexterity. Traction, Kinetic Dexterity, Machine Gun Scavenger, as well as Special Ammo Finder. And this has an ornament, but I don't have it. So if you guys don't have this, go ahead and grab it. It's definitely tier 2 in PvE and PvP now, especially since uh, Shadow Keep is literally like almost a week and a half away. Grab this. It's going to be amazing when Shadow Keep comes and even better. <laughs> so definitely go ahead and grab this if you guys do not have it. Next, Karnstein Arblitz. In terms of perk on this is Vampire's Caress, which melee kills restore health for a short duration. Then we have Auto Rifle Loader, Light Arms Loader, uh, Enhanced Grenade launch, uh, Grenade Launcher Loader, Jesus. Uh, Fusion Rifle Scavenger, as well as Special Ammo Finder. This has an ornament called Gothic Horror, and that's what it looks like. Looks pretty cool. Now, if you guys don't have this and you are a Warlock, go ahead and get it. It's definitely Tier 2 in PvE, as well as PvP, and an argument could be made for Tier 1 or Tier 1.5, um, but definitely a good exotic to have. Definitely in the top 5 exotics for the Warlock, so go ahead and grab that. Next, we have the Ashen Wake for the Titan. Tender perk on this is Bring the Heat, which gives you improved fusion grenades. Then we have Auto Rifle Loader, Pulse Rifle Loader, Impact Induction, Rocket Launcher Scavenger, as well as Special Ammo Finder. And this does not have an ornament. Now, I'm not a fan of fusion grenades in Destiny 2. I was more of a fan of fusion grenades in Destiny 1 because they actually, you know, worked and actually killed somebody when you stuck them. Unfortunately, they don't do that no more and haven't done that since Destiny 1. Therefore, fusion grenades are probably better on in PvE than it is PvP, unless you're trying to finish someone off. So, I am going to go ahead and give this a tier 2.5 in PvP, but a tier 2 in PvE. It's not bad, but like I said, 
unless you're finishing someone off or you, you know, already um, throw the grenade and then you start hitting them with your uh, weapons, I really wouldn't get this. Then we have your consumables, which gives you your Nightfall Challenge card, invitations if you're like me and still haven't done it. And then last but not least, we have your Faded Engram, which gives you Forsaken Exotics. If you do not have one of these, go ahead and grab this before you grab the Faded Engram because you do have a chance to grab one of these inside that Faded Engram. And then that'd be a waste of Legendary Shards. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. Toss a like on the video if you enjoyed it, and feel free to watch these videos as well. Definitely get subscribed for more Destiny 2 content heading your way soon, and I will see you guys in the next video.